Dios, I am the program coordinator of Oxfam Canada, and on behalf of the International uh, Women's uh, International Women's Day Planning Committee, it is a great honor for me to welcome all of you to this conference. Uh, we are gathering this afternoon here for two different reasons. Uh, the first one is to celebrate and commemorate International Women's Day. And the second one is a very, very, very important one, is to put our voices, women voices, at the table. And that's the name of our conference uh, today. Um, I think very briefly for the people who were not at the rally, I just want to basically put in context what is what we're doing today in here before I explain to you exactly how the conference is going to take place. International Women's Day uh, has been celebrated for 99 years now, so next year is going to be the 100th anniversary. And it has been used as a platform to call for women's suffrage, peace, and solidarity, women's economic security, and violence against women, women's education, and much more. It has been and continues to be an opportunity for assessment, reflection, celebration, and political action. International Women's Day has become more than just a celebration of women across the globe. It has become a day of opportunity for feminists and other activists to connect locally. It celebrates the end of one cycle of feminist activism and welcome a new year of full and positive endeavors. Almost 100 years ago, a woman named Clara Stenke, a leader of the Women's Office of the Social Democratic Party in Germany, tabled the idea of an International Women's Day. She proposed that every year, in every country, there should be a celebration on the same day of Women's Day to press for their demands. Before this, in 1909, women marched through New York calling for shorter hours, better pay, and voting rights. Today, we want to recognize, celebrate, and continue the struggle of our sisters for both our paid and unpaid work, our struggle for women's rights, equality in the workplace, better wages, benefit, social services in childcare, an end to violence against women, and the struggle to give us a voice. There is no doubt that we have too much to celebrate today. We can vote, some of us are in positions of leadership, but despite our advancements, there is much work that needs to be done. As we celebrate the 2010th International Women's Day, we must keep in perspective that even though all of those 100 years have passed since the first day to press for our demands, many of these demands are not yet accomplished. Globally today, women and girls are more likely to earn less, to own less, to control less, they are less likely to get education or be recognized as leaders. Gender-based violence and violence against women cut across all the strata of society and has a direct impact on women's power and participation. In Canada, women's rights are under attack. We hear at the rally today, the report presented by one of our sisters. Women's rights are being threatened by governments at many single level. We have seen cuts to women's advocacy groups, the ignoring of the plight of Aboriginal women and children, many of whom are victims of violence, the failure to establish a national child care program, cuts in the federal, uh, federal and provincial sectors that affect the equity, the list goes on and on and on. This year, 2010, the eyes of the world are going to focus on Canada again, as the leader of the GA and the 20 uh, leaders are meeting in Canada. This is an opportunity for us, a very unprecedented opportunity, for us to reassert our demands and ask our leaders to take a strong leadership role and to press for our demands. In order that we ensure that we claim and take our place at the table, a Canadian global uh, civil campaign has been created to mobilize citizens like you, and that campaign is called At the Table Campaign. This conference today is the first set of tables that will be um, set up to discuss important issues that need to be addressed in order to respond 
the, rights, uh, the women's rights and gender equality. The issues that are being discussed today has been identified by the people in the Women's, uh, plan in the women's International Day, Women's Day Planning Committee, and they are of very much important and relevance uh, for all of us. So what I would like to do is uh, basically um, let you know a little bit about how the conference is set up, so all you know exactly what to expect. As you see, there are 15 tables with the issues that are important to us. And in every one of the tables, there is a very well-informed woman who is going to lead the discussion of the topic that you're sitting in there. We do hope that you choose a table where you can actually participate because those tables is really to give you a voice. So that means that each one of the speakers in the table will only speak for 10 minutes. Then the discussion will be open to all of you so that all of you can participate and contribute to the discussion. The idea is that we come up with two important things from each one of the tables. One is we want a very clear action of what we can do collectively in order to make some changes on the issue that you want to be discussing. That's one. We want one concrete action that is very doable. And the second one is that you come up collectively with a recommendation, a policy recommendation of otherwise that we want to present to the leaders of the GA and the G20. What are we going to be doing with this information is at the end, we're going to have a plenary again, and we are going to be sharing with all of you what all those recommendations are. Unfortunately, you won't be able to participate in all the tables. We are going to uh, run the tables twice, so the first round of tables go from an hour, and then we're going to have a 15 minutes break. Uh, we're going to have some music at a time, and then we'll go back into, into the second round of table. So you will be able to participate in two tables, so I will very strongly encourage you to choose those ones in which you feel that you can really contribute a lot and share, and share your, your knowledge, your expertise. I um, think that there is a, an important thing in here. Everybody is familiar, for, um, can I see all the note takers? I think that all of you should know that in your table there is a note taker. So, uh, and also there is a, a moderator for the tables. And so for the moderators and the note taker, please, if you can identify a Diana, who will be collecting from you all your recommendations at the end. What are we going to be doing with all a uh, set of recommendations? That, that's going to become a document. And today we are going to present it to uh, some of our MDs, and we are going to announce later who is joining us in here today. And then uh, as we continue going and working towards June, which is the time of the GM G20, we hope that we all can go and meet with our MDs and continue pressuring, pressuring on our demands, because it's a lot that has to be done. Um, I know if there is anything that might be critical that I may be forgetting, I will invite any one of the members in the committee to please uh, let me know. There is a note in here indicating that um, there is a, a person from, from, from the media who would like to be taking some of the discussion in the tables. And if there is anyone who would, would not like to be taped, could you please let your moderator know? Okay, please. And then the second thing is that um, we have our wonderful Regin Grammys in here, and we welcome them to you. Uh, and before we start, I would like them to please inspire us with the spirit.